Good afternoon, everybody. It's Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri. Giving you some information on this pre-owned 2018 Kia Optima LX in the beautiful Sangria. It's a nice entry-level vehicle, but we've got some great standard features to go over. Also, love the Sangria. This is uh, a color that is soon to be no more. It's slowly being phased out of all of the Kia model lineup, but uh, it's a beautiful, just dark purplish, brownish, maroonish, beautiful thing. All right, let's get into it. We've got projector beam headlights up front for the low beams, uh, halogen high beams, standard right there. Got the nice tiger nose grill with a little bit of chrome up front, as well as along the side of the bumper. We've got an alloy wheel set on here, 17 inches. More chrome accents on the sides. We can also see it on the door handles as well as above the window trim here. Got some turn indicators on the mirrors, which also um, includes some blind spot monitors for you. Wrapping around the rear here, checking out the tail lights. You've got rear parking sensors also standard on here with the backup camera. And now we're just gonna take it all in for a second. It's got a heated back glass. Almost forgot that, that lovely feature, huh? It's a nice looking car. This is the predecessor to the Kia K5, which if you've seen one of those, there's definitely a big difference between the two, but uh, the K5 is actually what the Optima was called in other countries, and now it's just the globally known name. So real quick again, we've got blind spot monitors right here. Sorry for the pollen on the car, don't worry. You get a full tank of gas and a detail with your purchase. Moving on in here, we've got power locks, windows and mirrors with a window lock. Driver window is gonna be auto down here. Oh, maybe that feature's been disengaged, which you can actually do in the convenience uh, section of the settings here. But we've got some nice storage in the doors with the bottle holder, cloth interior, Six-way adjustable uh, manual driver seat here, so you can raise and lower it with the pump lever. You adjust the back angle and then move fore and aft with the bar. Hopping on in here, go ahead and turn down our fans a little bit. On the left, we've got dash illumination controls, blind spot monitor controls, fuel door release, trunk release, and traction control switch. On the steering wheel, you can unlock it tilts, telescopes, gets that right where you need it to be. On the left hand side we've got entertainment features for voice recognition, changing audio sources, adjusting or muting volume, changing your tracks, radio station presets or anything like that. Bluetooth controls and then on the right hand side we've got our driving and information tools. Cruise control on this right hand column, this left one is for your drive display. So this first screen we can see um, on the drive display, we've got drive selection, uh, ambient air temperature, the odometer, and this first screen shows fuel economy information. So we can see the range. Uh, this one is currently averaging 30.3 miles per gallon. Trip A, trip B, digital speedo. You can see audio information if it's on right here. Service information right here. Uh, this has not been set by us. Uh, the vehicle has just had an oil change, as you can see right here. You can customize this. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK to reset. So whoever owned this vehicle before preferred to have their oil changed every 3,000 miles or every 91 days. Why? I don't know. You've also got tire pressure information on here. But let's, uh, just for fun, get more realistic with the service interval information. We'll hit OK here. Maybe bump this up to 5,000, which aligns with what we recommend, even though you can go a little bit further, of course. You can change this to maybe 12 months instead. You know, we also, of course, recommend every six months is what this is based off of. So you can get that customized. But just for example, that's how you have that information saved. So from this point forward, every mile the vehicle is driven, every hour that the engine is on, every minute, every second, it is counting that information now. Cool. So that's it for the drive display. Uh, Left-hand one is going to give you some automatic headlights, so you don't have to worry about turning those on or off. Right-hand one will control your wipers and the sprayers. 
then moving up we've got our interior lighting you can turn all the lights on in the dome here set it to the door option too for when you open and close the doors we've got a sunglass holder uh, standard rear view mirror and then moving down here is our entertainment display this is the home screen we can see the time and date here it's currently set to uh, military time we can also get this customized as well if you wanted to so you can set that however you want to get that dialed in for yourself if it's daylight saving time or not so that changed for us now going into all menus here you've got access to some applications for your radio music Pandora phone um, images if you've got your phone connected you've got an auxiliary port in here Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for putting your phone on screen all you have to do is just connect the proper device to this USB port Uvo eServices is mostly just a diagnostic tool to give you information about the vehicle. They've got a quick guide for quick reference instead of having to check out the owner's manuals. Traffic, weather, and travel data. SoundHound, another uh, music app there. Voice commands and settings that you can customize everything in. Got some nice large vents right here in the center. Your hazard lights. Analog controls for most everything that I just talked about. You have your single climate, manually controlled air conditioning system right here. And down below, you've got a nice storage and power area featuring two 12 volt outlets, USB port, auxiliary port, and you can also conceal this, get it closed up if you want to. And then you've got storage here, storage here, a couple cup holders. Turn on the backup camera for you. Got a clear view of the Sangria bumper there. This has projected pathing, so you've got horizontal lines for distance judgment. Keep in mind, you've also got your parking sensors enabled on here. You can cut the wheel, and you can see exactly where you're steering to. So say if I wanted to just start angling towards the back of this parking spot right here, I'm gonna get this corner lined up right here, and I bet you I would slowly guide myself in right there. The blue box represents where you're at in real time. The yellow box is saying where you're gonna be pathing to. Um, speculatively the left and right hand lines represent the true sides of this optima so as long as nothing's getting close here or coming in between you shouldn't impact with anything but once it does get close I recommend you check your mirrors just to make sure the vehicle also has rear cross traffic alert is what we just saw it's reacting from the traffic on the road behind me so um, it'll keep you safe too for perpendicular traffic it's a very nice feature you can also change the drive modes right here We've got Eco, Sport, and your normal driving mode. You can see that popping up on the tachometer right there. And then we've got a nice center console. It's a deep well for storage. This tray actually goes right up here, and I think I've got it backwards. There we go. Nice glove box with the owner's manuals inside. And lastly, our visors up here. These are gonna be mirrored, lit. They've got a clip here. They also telescope to reach the full length of the window for you. So. It's a very nice car. A lot of people don't know about Kias, but uh, it's nice. It's nice. It's got a lot to offer for you. So we're going to head back home here and turn the vehicle off. Nice little jingle when you get out. Thanks. Appreciate you. We're going to check out the back seat and the trunk. Back here, we've got more storage in the doors with bottle holders, cargo bags. Nice armrest with uh, three cup and bottle holders here. Nice little combination. Your latch system, seating for three, of course, and then uh, some lighting handles and hooks up above. You can fold these rear seats down in a 60-40 split. Let me show you how. Come over here to the trunk. Got a release button. Got a set of cloth floor mats back here for you guys. And then uh, to fold those rear seats down, just pull one of these tabs right here and use your longer item to push the seat down for you if you're by yourself. And then checking underneath here, the vehicle has a spare tire with, oh, that's, a, that's actually a full-size tire, just so you know. <laughs> nice, with some roadside tools here, but very cool. So this particular Optima right here has a full-size spare in here. You don't see that very often, but that's why I like to go through these vehicles individually, you know. I definitely have filmed more than one 2018 Optima LX, but they're not all the same. They've all got their own little unique quirks and differences. So lastly, 
Moving over to the passenger seat, we're going to check out some adjustability there. It's also six-way adjustable on this side, just so you know. All right, thanks again for your time on this vehicle, guys. Always appreciate it. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about the information I've provided you today. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles I'm uploading to this channel for your informational and shopping needs. Yes, this vehicle is for sale. So if you're shopping, feel free to check out the link in the description down below to inquire further and get even more information if you're interested. Thanks again, guys. It's Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri. We hope you're having a wonderful day.